Hi, and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris, and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, I've got an awful lot that I want to cover off topic wise. I want to talk through influencers, the good, the bad, the ugly, the very ugly. I want to talk about um, time horizons, mindset, um, investment strategies, and much more. So let's get straight to it. Before we do, mash up that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get down to the desktop. Okay, so we're going to start at Coin Market Cap. Now, Coin Market Cap, we're at down 5.11% at $1.85 trillion for the total market cap. Bitcoin at 39,315.41, down 6.62% at the time of recording. Now, I know that there's going to be a lot of people that are concerned, a lot of people that bought much higher. Um, and this video is really for anybody that's in the crypto space, perhaps worried, uh, perhaps following the wrong influencer, um, you know, various different reasons why you, you know, you might benefit from this video. So do watch till the end. But ultimately, I'm going to start with uh, talking about different types of influencers and the dirty secrets and all this sort of stuff. So um, let's start with the pay chiller. Now, I think you can categorize this um, in, in two, two different um, boxes is kind of how... I would articulate it. You've got your pay chiller. Now, I don't think a pay chiller um, tells you that they're they're you know they've been paid to promote a project or a coin. Um, they're not clear about that. They they don't let you know. Um, and ultimately, this is why Nick and myself always say: make sure you do your own research and don't invest or FOMO in based on what any influencer says, including ourselves. Um, the second bucket or the second um, you know type of I don't want to say pay chiller. I don't think it's really the right terminology but somebody that does paid content um now this this individual or this this channel uh will vet and um, research each and every project uh, before making a decision whether to to take it right and um they will let the viewer know that it's paid content and that they you know that that be verbally and in the uh, description of the video so you get an alert on the video um and ultimately, I think that's okay. Now, Nick and myself have done that in the past. We haven't done that for a very long time, um, but we certainly would tell everybody uh, whenever we did a paid endorsed video. Um, we don't do that now, but ultimately, I think that's okay. You know, you see this in various different uh, sectors. You know, we could go to the tech sector um, and we quite often see, you know, people being given Samsung phones to do a review on, right? And ultimately, I don't think it's an issue in, in that sector. I don't think it should be a, a, an issue in this sector. But do let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on this. Um, but ultimately, two different types of paid content and shilling, right? Then you've got um, the bucket that we're in, which is we have channel sponsors. Uh, we have a team. You know, we have to pay people their... Their, their salaries and um, stuff like that. Plus, you know, it costs a lot of money for laptops and equipment uh, and all that sort of stuff. So ultimately, you know, I, I think it's a benefit to have these channel sponsors. Um, and again, I don't, don't see any problem with that, right? They're, they're vetted um, and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then you've got the other type of, um, I guess, influencer, right? And this is, um, I want to kind of, class them as negative bad on the space um these influencers are maybe sad that they're not getting the 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 following that they feel that they deserve they've been in the space a long time perhaps their content has gone a bit dry perhaps they're just not actually good at what they do uh, maybe they're not as successful perhaps they're not highlighting great projects that have gone on to make people thousands of dollars um you know there could be many reasons why they're frustrated but these individuals decide to call out other influencers that are much more uh, successful than them um for some unknown reason and tell people to unfollow them not follow them um and all this sort of just negativity and it's it's terrible in my opinion talking from um somebody that this has recently happened to um you know, I'm trying to build a brand here. I'm trying to be transparent. I'm trying to help people um, change their financial landscape by highlighting what I see in the markets and getting them to, to go away and do their own research. Now, um, you know, it, it, it's quite hurtful, but ultimately it's bad for the space. It's bad for adoption. People miss out. Um, you know, don't get me wrong. They've got a very, very small 
following uh, that they've amassed over a number of years. Um, most of probably not even active, but those few people that are active or those few people that are there, um, they might take that as the gospel truth and just unfollow or not follow. And they could be missing out on loads of opportunities just because somebody doesn't like the fact that somebody is more successful than they are. And ultimately, you know, it it's not great. We should be working together. Um, I'm going to put an olive branch out now and just say, look, like, you know, if you weren't so negative, like we wouldn't have blocked you. And ultimately, you know, we reached out to you to 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 help support you in growing your channel. But if you don't want it, it's fine. Um, but the olive the olive branch is still there, right? If you you want to learn how to to grow a business. Um, but ultimately, you know, I think it's bad for the space. So those are the different types of influencers. I think the the biggest take from from me that I'd like people to sort of walk away with is, you know, you, you've got to go do your own research. You can't listen to any of these influencers. You can't listen to the, the ones that are paid shilling. You can't um, listen to the ones that, you know, are, are telling you that it's a pay, it's a paid content video. You can't, you can't any of them. The negative ones are, are just as bad. Like they're telling you to not follow people that are actually genuinely good at what they do. Um, so, you know, because they've got an issue with them. Uh, ultimately, it's it's just not healthy for the space. But ultimately, you know, the, the lesson that's got to be learned here is you've got to go do your own research. Yeah. And uh, I think that's really important. Now, coming on to, to the fact that I mentioned we've been called out. I just want to articulate to people like how transparent Nick and myself are when it comes to everything that we do here. I put a spreadsheet together that went through all of the different projects that we highlighted uh, and we worked out if you, you know, how much you would have today um, if you had spent a thousand dollars investing in every single coin that we we highlighted on the channel. Now, I'm saying every coin that we highlighted on the channel or talked about, like some of these we we had interviews with people we never, you know, we would never like, for example, um, there's one here that is um, for, for gambling, for example, they're involved in gambling. Nick and myself would never invest in a project involved in gambling because we think it's, you know, it's a toxic um, sector, right? We don't like, you know, gambling. People lose their money. Ultimately, you know, it's not good for health and, and so forth. So, you know, there's some of these that we, we weren't telling people to actively invest in um, that are in red, um, but ultimately... You know, this is everything that we've we've called out, minus any that you know perhaps we called out that weren't live. Um, so we would be putting zero in because uh, we told you before they were worth anything, and then putting in a silly figure. So it, it would just screw like screw up the the numbers. But ultimately, this is this is everything, right? And uh, you would have spent forty three. It says forty three thousand pounds, but that should really be dollars. <coughs> Let's put it in dollars. There we go. Um, so. You would have, you know, you would have spent forty-three thousand dollars investing one thousand dollars in each and every project. You would today have almost a quarter of a million dollars. You know, you would have made more than two hundred thousand dollars based on following all of the projects that Nick and myself picked out. It's not bad, right? Um, it certainly is a is a channel that I would want to follow. Um, you know, and ultimately that number would be much higher. Um, you know, we've had a pullback. We're down six percent. 6% were down and I'm doing this today. And that is the price. You'd have a, almost a quarter of a million dollars. You know, like, now what, what, is, what is even more crazy is if you sold them at the peak after we told you uh, about the projects, you would have almost $700,000. So, you know, I, I really want to illustrate um, sometimes there are negative influences telling people to not follow people because they've got another issue with them. Um, so, you know, I think that, you know, even if you sold somewhere near the top, you'd have over half a million. Um, so, you know, I think this is fantastic numbers. Do let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comments below. Really interested to to get your, your you know, see what your, your thoughts and opinions are, right? Now, I went through um, some of the the tweets that have gone out from from this negative influencer and uh ultimately um i want to sort of cover off like my thoughts and opinions on some of it um check how long influencers have been around now for me i don't think it really makes a difference how long an influencer 
has been around right because how so how long somebody's held a youtube channel doesn't tell you how much experience they have in a, in a market right it really doesn't okay so i don't think that really means bubble um that's basically something that somebody would say if they've been around a long time like they've had a youtube channel a long time but you know bitboy said that he's you know he's had a channel a long time but then you know you go through some of his earlier videos when the market was down they weren't talking about crypto all the time they were talking about other things um but you know ultimately you know he, he's been in crypto a long time um i don't think it really makes any difference uh, if a coin needs a new coin it's probably a scam um it's, it's i wouldn't say it's wrong i'd say it's either a scam or something unfortunate's happened um and maybe a company has uh, put out a new coin in order to prevent a scam but ultimately you know probably something you don't really want to be near uh always do your own research on any influencer and uh this is an interesting one right because i read this and i do my research i do my due diligence so i always kind of feel like you shouldn't throw stones if you live in a glass house so the reason why i say this is ultimately you know your company details are all on company's house and you can find them and you can see how much debt somebody's in you can see how little money they they make and how poorly they run a business by the number of people that leave their business so ultimately um you know i, I just kind of feel like yeah you should do your your um your your research on it, uh, influencers but i kind of feel like it's a void point in the respect that what's it matter what an influencer's background is um if you're not just fomoing in based on what they say what i would say is go do your own research uh it it would be a waste of time looking at what an influencer's background is um ultimately um you'd be better off spending that time investing in a project like the time investing in a project to find out more about it knowing when to stop investing yeah i i completely agree you should know not to to invest more than you're willing to lose and uh, ultimately make sure that you you know um you're comfortable with the money that you've got in the market right um you need to change your mindset and all that sort of stuff i'm you know it's just a lot of this is just rubbish um if if you don't uh, if you abuse somebody because you don't like their coin or your coin you shouldn't be following them i think you know th th there's some of this stuff that gets pushed out i completely agree with it if you don't like you know somebody's coin don't follow them um i i, I don't like the tribalism in this space i think you know um it's interesting though that this person is so negative about other influencers just don't follow them then don't follow them if you don't like them don't follow them take your own advice um i still maintain a lot of people with uh followers will be found out next year uh the following doesn't translate to time when uh it's grown through greed of others yeah i think there's going to be many people that get found out um ultimately you know if you've been investing for what is it seven years i think you you, you said on one of your videos if you've been investing for seven years and you are having to take out debt in order to run a business and i mean we're talking small chump change um then you know like ultimately i i would question whether you'll get found out or not um i'd be careful in the market at the moment stick to only following solid accounts only uh, i i agree and i disagree on this point and um, we'll come back to this first one in a moment but stick to only following solid accounts completely agree to a point um but i would always be open-minded about other accounts there's some fantastic accounts that are new that pop up quite regularly don't trust youtubers doing uh trading content uh with a free account um what i would say is don't trust a youtuber doing free trading content um but they're offering you an incentive to sign up to um a platform offering um i i, I guess leverage because ultimately they're going to benefit from all of your losses on that exchange uh, i wouldn't ape into the altcoins right now it's far too risky and we could be you know having a correction soon uh, and don't buy uh, the resistance so like i want to come on to these because i think they're kind of you know really 
based on time horizon and ultimately um they do matter but i guess it's what lens you look through and ultimately if i was in the market right let's just let's just go back here right let's say i was in the market <clears throat> and i bought just here actually let's go back further I bought here, right? December 17th, 2017. I bought here right at the top. Like, I probably shouldn't have bought here, right? Like, it would have been better to have waited and bought down here, right? But I bought at like 19,995, um, uh, right? So I bought here. You know, if I'm, you know, buying here and I'm only planning to invest in it for, for a few months, then yeah, that's a bad decision. But if I'm thinking about buying and selling in five to ten years' time, then I could have sold here at sixty-three thousand, or I could have sold here at sixty-eight thousand. I could have bought here right at the top at sixty-four thousand, but I could have sold it up here at sixty-eight thousand. Like so, I think it matters because you want to get as much as you can for your money. But being careful right now, if you believe in the project, um, and you know, this isn't the best advice, but if you believe in the project, then I don't think it really matters about the, the timing. Aping in, I think it depends on your strategy and your time horizon. Don't buy resistance. You know, these candles go through resistance at points. So again, I think it's a mute point. Ultimately, if you're in the market for a long length of time and you plan to be, then ultimately these prices are going to be cheap in 10 years' time, in my humble opinion. Um, but there will be people that disagree with me. And ultimately, I'm not saying that this is what you should do. I'm not saying you should buy at resistance and you should ape in. Nick and myself always say dollar cost average in on the pullbacks and uh, ladder out on the way up. We always say this. But ultimately, if you make a mistake, and you hold and you believe in that project and it doesn't you know go to zero it's a solid project and it's part of that you know small percentage of projects that are going to be around in 10 years time then you're going to be all right so you know your blue chips they're going to be around like likelihood is they're going to be around in 10 years time um and this sort of brings me on to to our strategy and i'll link this in the description of the video there are different strategies you've got your hodler you know basically buy and just hodl it yeah um you've got your earning yield and staking so a bit like the the hodler but you're earning apy on what you're holding um all in investors there are people that don't have time to piss about with the market they just want to buy you know a fantastic project and they just want to stick it on cold storage and they just want to keep it for 10 years and then go back to it again dollar cost averaging value interest uh, investing yeah this is you know one of our preferred methods finding projects that are undervalued in the market swing trading again it's not for everybody um but ultimately you know i wanted to put something together for beginners that you know is perhaps helpful but ultimately you know i think what i want people to take from from this video is you have to be ultra careful with who you're following um they might be you know trying to you know deflect from how bad they are um, and trying to make out that others are worse um, when they're clearly not there are influencers that are going to shill really bad coins trying to, to tr you know not caring about you they're only caring about lining their own pockets then you've got other influencers good actors people that actually want to support you to become you know um, better financially um, and it's not financial advice here on YouTube. We're not financial advisors. Yeah, we're here. We're telling you what we see in the market. We're successful at what we do. And ultimately, it's up to you. You need to go away. You need to go do your research. You need to make investment decisions for yourself. This is an unregulated market. It's volatile. Um, and ultimately, you can lose all of your money. There's scammers everywhere. Yeah, um, there's lots of ways you can lose your money in this space. So, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, if you are following people, you're following the right people, people that are genuine, the people that do care. Um, and ultimately, the others will get flushed out. You will see 
the fact that you know they've been caught dumping coins it's all traceable on the blockchain people always slip up with their wallet addresses you know it always comes to fruition that you know they've they've been given coins and they sold them after you know telling you that they were amazing they were going to 100x it all comes out in the end and um ultimately you want to just make sure that you're going away and you're doing your own research in this space and and, and it's not easy right it's just not easy if it was easy everyone would be wealthy um but i hope that this video is helpful in some meaningful way I hope that people take something from it. I hope people just see that Nick and myself actually really do care about our brand. We really do care about our community. And, um, you know, you should be questioning anybody that says that you shouldn't watch Cheeky Crypto, in my humble opinion. If you enjoyed this sort of content and you want to support the channel, um, you know, share this video. Um, like the video. It helps push out the content to like-minded individuals. Um, and uh, subscribe. You know, you've got nothing to lose. It doesn't cost you anything. Subscribe, tap that bell, select all the notifications so you never miss a video. And with all that said, done and out of the way, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.